Welcome to Making Memories and More. In this two-part series, we're going to create a fleece coat and then a Patagonia logo to go on our fleece coat. Let's get started. The supplies you'll need to make the fleece coat will include one or two types of fleece. I choose to do two, one for the outside layer and then just a solid color for the inside, but you could do this all the same a package of Velcro, and then a matching thread. The amount of supplies that you'll need for your coat is going to vary by the size of your dog. I'll leave a link down below in the description box to the video of how to measure your dog and figure out those measurements. I started out by laying out my fabric flat while it's doubled over, so fold it in half. I went ahead and measured out the length that I need and marked that. Using a rotary cutter, I'm going to go ahead and cut both layers to that length. Next, I'm opening up the fabric into one single layer. Again, I'm going to mark out now the width of the fabric that I need. With the width of the fabric marked, I'm going to go ahead and use the rotary cutter again to cut the fabric. With my inside piece of fleece cut, I'm now going to take that as my template and lay it onto the outside fleece. I have folded the inside fleece in half and also folded in half the outside fleece. You're going to put the folded edges facing the same direction and go ahead and cut around using your inside fleece piece that you made as your template to follow. Now you get to choose which fleece you want your straps to be made of. I chose to use the outside fabric. So here I'm folding it over and cutting four straps that are approximately eight inches wide. If you're making a coat for a much smaller dog, you're going to want to use about half of that, somewhere around four inches wide. When you're all done with cutting, you should have four identical straps and then your two layers of fleece. Moving from the cutting table over to the sewing machine, we're going to sew each strap first. You're going to want to start by sewing down the long side and one end of your strap, leaving the top shorter side open. At this portion, your material is going to be facing right sides in. Once you're done sewing the side and bottom of each strap, we're going to go ahead and turn them right sides out.
Here you see me turning the straps so that the right sides are facing outward. If you have stubborn corners that don't want to turn all the way, a uh, long straight object that has a blunt end, like the tip of your scissors, you can push from the inside out to make your corners more sharp. From here, starting at the open end of the strap, about a quarter inch in from the edge, I sew around all three sides of the strap, except for the open one because we won't see that in the finished product. This helps hold the strap flat and will make it easier for our next step. Our next step is going to be to place the Velcro onto our straps. I took the large piece of Velcro that came in the package and cut it equally into fourths. I used a fourth on each of our four straps. I chose to do two of the rougher side of the Velcro on one strap and then the opposite two with the softer side of the Velcro. If you wanted to, you could switch it so there was a rough and a soft, but this just seemed to make more sense to me. Make sure when laying this out that your straps are going to land so that the two sides with the Velcro come together. I just barely pinned these on enough to hold them in place and somewhat freehanded as I sew all the way around all four sides of both pieces of Velcro. Heading back to the cutting table, you can see I now have a helper up in the left hand corner. She's overlooking to make sure I'm doing this just right. You're going to lay out your two pieces of fabric, the inside and outside pieces of fleece, with the right sides together. We're going to go ahead and place the straps where they need to be so that when we sew the two pieces of fleece together, they will also be sewn in at the same time. As you place your straps, you're essentially putting what will be on the outside inside the two pieces of fabric right now. You'll see I'm trying to show you that the uh, Velcro part of the strap is laying between the two pieces of outer fleece. One piece of your strap with the Velcro is going to need to face the outside piece of fleece, whereas the other side is going to need to face the inside piece of fleece. Laying your straps with the Velcro facing an outside and an inside will make it so when we flip the right side out, the straps Velcro will be facing each other and hold the jacket closed. Here again, you can see me placing the straps. I'm going to place this one so that the Velcro is facing towards the outside layer of the fleece. And then its coordinating strap is going to be so the Velcro is facing the inside piece of fleece. Once both straps are in place, you want to line the jacket up and make sure that they land in the same spot. This is going to be vital for your jacket to lay correctly and close properly. Back 
Back at the sewing machine, we're going to sew around the entire outside except for about a four or five inch space. I like to start where the base of the tail of the dog would be, about halfway down the coat, going around all four edges, making sure to catch each of the straps as I go. I have sewn all the way around the coat to the other side of where I'd like to leave this opening. This opening is so that we can turn the coat to right sides out. We will finish this off at the end. So right now what you're going to do is pull everything from the inside out, straps and all. Be careful the velcro on the straps can snag your fleece while you're doing this process. So you want to be a little careful. If you followed my instructions on how to place the straps with the Velcro going in each direction, you will now see why we did it that way. And the Velcro will line up properly so that when it's put on the dog here, you'll see that Velcro side ends up against Velcro side. If you wanted to finish off your coat at this point, all you would need to do is hold the two sides of that opening that we left in and stitch a quarter inch in from there. And that would finish off the coat completely. I put my helper to work in modeling the coat as it is for us now. As you can see, this coat is much too large for my dog, but it will be perfect for the large dog that we're making it for. Join us in part two of this series, where we'll create our Patagonia logo and finish off the coat.